welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a flip through of my 2020 big memory planner from the Happy Planner. Um, I have it on the standard rings that it already came with. My book was a black and white undated one and I changed it to the hard cover um, so that that way it will stand the test of time. <laughs> You, I have to say that I've been very proud of myself for keeping up with it. We are in the first week of May right now when I'm filming this, so I am current. Um, and I love that it's getting super chunky with all my memories here and that I have still like the second half of the year to go. So, um, like I said, this is an undated one. This one had a black and white cover. And believe me, it's an old one, 2017, but the fact that it was undated was perfect. It just gives me the ability to um, have blank pages, um, the empty boxes, without any of like the prompts or lines or dot grid, which is why I like it. So on the monthly spread this month, um, I decided to use my one little word in here, which is embrace. I don't know how much <laughs> I've been keeping up with it in April and May, but when it was the first of the year, um, I got some quotes and the definition of it to me and like a mother daughter photo. And that was then this is my word for the year. So then it would be the first week in January. This all these papers are from a paper pad from Michaels. It was called, I think, Color Splash, and it had beautiful um rainbow foiled paper in it. I loved it. This was in there too. I did do a layout on it on my channel. Um, this one was just using scraps I think in my bin because I just looked for black and whites that kind of matched and then these are all the little ephemera pieces that were sitting in a basket on my desk. This was a layout I did using Tracy Reed's Still Me collection, which is like this pastel blue, teals, and mints, and yellow collection. So this one has a process video as well. I did that for the design team. This, I think, was just using one pad of paper, obviously the polka dot, and then some of the flowers from the flower book um, from uh, the Happy Planner. So, you know, this actually it's right here. This one is what it's from. Fun flowers. This is the first one that's out. I know there's a couple out since then, uh, but that was the one I did. And clearly, I probably missed a little journaling. Maybe I'll just put a fun sticker there to cover it up. Uh, this was another layout. Was it for a design team? Actually, no. Scratch that. This wasn't for a design team. This was just using a fun paper pad. I think it was called Stargazer from Hobby Lobby. So that's where all of these papers are from. And so I went with this purple and like minty aqua teal color theme. It was Super Bowl week, so, and then this big quote was from one of those sticker books, too, so that's how I got my color scheme for the layout. And then I used a lot of different colored inks. I do like the look of it. However, <laughs> I had a bunch of pen fails, like this one started skipping and dried out. This one did, too. Um, so I would do it again, but just pen test the <laughs> pens beforehand. So it was like a aqua, like teal color, purple, and like navy. I like the way that came out, though. Um, I do have the punch for Happy Planner, so these are just some pictures from a Chuck E. Cheese day. Um, in February, I did the collage for my word embrace. This was on the month. I never used the month, um, if you saw my other ones, so I just started to use them in this way. So just some clippings, um, things that the word embrace mean to me, so just being a busy mom, um, embracing like an actual embrace, joy, um, just mom life. Um, some time for myself, all the chores, laundry, so just enjoy the, embrace the crazy stuff. Um, this was a layout for Tracy Reed. This was using her Galentine's collection, so everything was pink, black, and red. I really like that one. I had to do a lot of fussy cutting for the elements, but I love the final touch. This one as well was done for Tracy Reed Design. Um, it was the Love Bandit collection, which just became black, white, and red. Um, and I just kind of did all of the focus of the paper and the pictures up top and then all my journaling below, which is a nice layout to repeat in the future. This one I tried to do like pattern paper in the back and then my photos just here so I had all the room to journal. Um, I will try this layout again. I The only thing I think made this busy was because like while I do like the pattern paper being like a floral doodle, it made the middle part so busy along with all my writing so busy. So I should have done something a little bit bolder as the background is, is where I would improve if I do this layout um, again. This one was a paper pad from Michaels as well. It was called Newport, 
Newport News or Newport Ocean or something. It's all blues, clearly. I used a metallic blue pen also, which I like, ties it all together. And I always like whatever kind of pattern paper, if you notice, I use over here. I do like to repeat it over here at least once. And then the paper is also coordinated. And then I did find a few um, uh, quotes from sticker books that actually went along with the color scheme I was doing. So then we're in March. I haven't done anything here on March. Probably won't. <laughs> this one I used an entire sheet of flowers from this collection. Um, and then it was just scraps too. So I went with this like mint and pink theme. This was from one of the sticker books. Sticker books. And then I wrote in a light pink uh, metallic G2 pen. But I like that I got to use a whole sheet of stickers. I think I was watching... Um, a fellow YouTuber, Kel of a Plan, and her like 10 tips for like planner people. In essence, one of them that stuck with me was like, if you like it and love it, like use it now because there's always going to be more stickers available. Like stop hoarding your pretty things. <laughs> so this was my homage to that uh, tip that struck with me was like, use your pretty stuff. Like these flowers, I think, are just so like realistic and photogenic and I've been having them for years in my collection. And so... Here I am just, you, you know, just splattered all the whole sheet on here. And that's, I'm happy because I think this is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so this was a paper pad again from Michael's. I think this is called Classic Chic. It's just black, white, and gold. So I cut this journal card out. That's where this came from. Um, and then these were all sticker pad uh, stickers from the sticker pads. Um, this is March 13th was when coronavirus in the um, United States became a national emergency. So that's how I started documenting um, the corona slash COVID. Um, and actually the day after we did go into the pool before it closed and it's been closed ever since. <laughs> um, but I used metallic blue paint, uh, blue paint, blue ink pens and then black as well. I had a blue black and white thing going on here. Then this was also a paper collection. I think it's called Fabulousness. Um, I did a layout with it recently too on my channel. The one that was list, uh, it said quarantine as a cut file. I use that paper collection here. So again, here's the paper and then I use the flowers again. Uh, this was a cut apart sheet that says, oh well, I'm getting fries. It was for this page. This was a fun Sarasa, um, like a orchid ink that I used and then some more flowers. Um, but I use the cut apart page and this is just a tip for you um, to add more journaling. So this was clearly like the week after Corona was getting close to home and I needed a place to curse and write. <laughs> <laughs> so I can easily uh, take this out because, like I said, I do have the punch and then this is cohesive. But on here, I mean, literally, I was like, my anxiety is through the roof. It's so severe. What the fuck are we going through? I mean, sorry for using explicit language, but I just had an extra place to write. Um, believe me, one day when if Valentine ever reads this, I will probably take that out or <laughs> white out. But I just needed to get out my initial gut feelings on how I was feeling in that moment. And that's kind of what I did. This, again, using a paper pad collection from Michaels. It was a pastel -y rainbow. I don't know what it was called. Sorry. This was using, the, if you watched my haul, the, the, the stamps that, um, do I have them nearby? That are just the letters. Um, they're like school supply stamps. Anyways, um, using the same pink metallic ink again. I like changing up the ink colors as I use them. And then just kind of documenting what the world was going through. So I wrote like, no park still, no pool time. Cronus is still affecting the world. New York, Chicago, and California are hit hard. So I've been using this to kind of document a lot of what's been going on with that in our world. Um, the day that we found out the Olympics was postponed. So no Olympics, no NBA, <laughs> no March Madness, no baseball. Nothing is occurring in sports land. All men are bored. Um, I paint, that was one of my quarantine projects. I painted Valentina's walls, a mural of flowers. I think I have that on my Instagram stories. If you cared to see how I did that. Um, didn't use April month. Uh, this was a page that Valentina colored. It's one of those mess free pages, those markers that don't have pigment at the tip, but as you put them on this paper, the color shows up. I just like the way it was colored and I'm just keeping it for sentimental reasons. She's totally into trolls right now. Um, so then we're in April. Um, this is a Paige Evans paper. 
These are all stickers from a sticker book. So is this one. This one was a clear sticker. I actually backed on white paper and then um, fussy cut it out to put on here because since it was clear, the busy butterflies were going to poke through and you wouldn't have seen the quote as well. So that's how I did that trick. And then I used the um, teal or aqua ink here for all of this. I still work quarantine so that I just know like what we're doing all the time here, like just trying to stay busy at home. We got a fun pool in the backyard for her. This was Easter week. This was um, page paper from Paige Evans again. This one was um, from an old one. I think it's Summer Lights and I've had it in my collection forever. I thought I would have used it on a Valentine's wedding, but I like this. So again, a nice layout that I will repeat, just kind of blocking off um, two of the kind of patterns like book ending it. I put our Easter pictures here. I did an Easter egg hunt at in our backyard because everything was canceled. Happy quarantine Easter. I still work quarantine life up here. The week I downloaded TikTok, if you don't know what TikTok is, like I'm obsessed, especially at night. Like I watch like 10 videos in a row, laugh a lot and then go to bed. <laughs> it's actually, they're quite funny. People are very creative. Um, that was using like a Snapchat filter, um, showing my low maintenance toes, not having any finger paint, uh, nail paint, or pedicure in forever. <laughs> this was um, using a paper pad collection. Um, this one's Hop Hoppy Days. It was from Michael's. It's from their like hot buy section. They're actually making a lot of really cool paper pads and I pick one up occasionally when I like them and this one just spoke to me with the florals. That was my like, first Starbucks in forever. That's when at least the drive through was open again. So we're in April. Uh, Miguel smashed and then drove over his phone. That was a funny day. <laughs> Zoe had a birthday. She's 15. And I wrote in a very like light blue periwinkle pen ink um, for that one. I have been, if you've noticed, using a lot of different colored inks this year. Usually before I was just a lot of black. Um, and I like the added layout um, detail it gives some of these uh, layouts. Um, sorry, this was like our stimulus check. Um, I just wanted to kind of keep this and it was a green yellow theme. I'm sure everyone either got paper checks or theirs in the mail. So I'm again just keeping it here. This is a paper pad from Die Cuts with the View. Um, I got it at Tuesday morning, but I know Die Cuts with the View is also sold at Joann's. So I had this whole, like I said, green, orange, yellow theme, kind of like citrus. And this is um, sticker books. And then I just fussy cut some of the flowers out. And then I wrote in a green metallic pen on this one. You know, just staying busy. It was the NBA draft. Oh, this is a Valentina threw up all over herself. She got sick that day. Um, just a lot of at home fun. <laughs> and then this is where I'm at right now, especially with journal. I did the layout printing my pictures. This was the week that I finally started getting out of the house and going for at least an hour walk outside. Um, I live in South Florida. I'm very close to the beaches so I'm doing beach walks um, over the bridge and then like along the intercoastal. So this is showing me doing it every day that week. This is when I started. Yeah, April, um, May, I don't know, April 27th. So I'm writing about like my bridge walks and my hair, gray hair going. I need the salons to be open. I need to color my hair. Ooh. Um, and then just, you know, enjoying the time with Valentina. Other than this, I don't think I would ever have had two months straight just to be with her. So I'm always just trying to stay on the positive side of this whole experience. Don't get me wrong, there are, some days are harder than others, um, but I'm making the best of it with work and her and being home. And like I said, um, I wouldn't have had two months just to stay home any other reason other than a pandemic going on in our country. So for that, I am grateful and I'm grateful that I've been sticking with this. I hope someone is doing, everyone is doing their version of memory keeping. I sure love that I have this so colorful and current and I'm not behind. And so uh, I guess I just flipped through well, how many months? One, two, three, four, five, no, one, four months. I went through April. So every four months or so, I will do a flip through and then this will be complete. So thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.